And with that, SpaceX's massive Starship took to the sky. The cheers of the SpaceX employees at Mission Control, mixing with the roar of the rocket's engines, was almost deafening. But around two and a half minutes into the flight, the rocket veered off course and began to tumble. After several flips and turns, it blew up, or as SpaceX likes to say, it experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. And yet, the cheers were louder than ever. That's because this isn't considered a failure for SpaceX CEO Elon Musk. I mean, it was it was exciting. Uh, this was not unexpected uh, in the history of spaceflight. Uh, launch failures in the development process happen all the time. They set expectations as such. Uh, they even have that uh, that euphemism of the uh, rapid, unscheduled uh, disassembly uh, to kind of cover the, the the using the term failure. But um, failure is productive. Failure is when you learn. And today, they got a lot of data about the vehicle in flight. They did have a few surprises from which they can learn, such as apparent debris coming off the launch pad, even damaging a nearby car. Engineers are likely pouring over critical data for the next launch attempt, which Musk said could happen in a few months. The ground crew scouring the launch pad for damage. So I imagine that is a phenomenal amount of information that they couldn't really model properly with their computer software. So that happened. And then, of course, um, you know, the debris that happened from the launch pad, I think they're going to need to do a lot of work. But SpaceX will push ahead. Eventually, a version of this Starship will be used to take astronauts back to the moon as part of NASA's Artemis program. And that mission's coming up pretty quickly. Yeah, because you know what? They need to do this very soon. Um, you know, we have Artemis II that's going back around the moon with Canadian uh, Jeremy Hansen. And then after that is Artemis III. But NASA doesn't have a lunar lander. Mm. They are actually depending on SpaceX. And SpaceX, it'll be a version, it's called the Human Landing System, will be a version of this Starship. And that mission is supposed to go in 2025. So the question is, will SpaceX make that deadline? Don't know. Well, we'll find out. Nicole Marclaro, thanks very much. Thank you.